Road salt is one of the things that keeps us safe when driving in icy conditions, but could we be sacrificing safe drinking water for safe roads? One environmental advocacy group says yes. RTV6's Jade Hindman has the story. It leaves an ashy film on the roads, even your cars. During the winter time, you'll find salt all over everything. The question is, what happens when it washes into our waterways, even into our water treatment plant? Once it's there, it can contribute to drinking water problems. Sentiments of the Hoosier Environmental Council. They feel the 51,000 tons of salt used each season to de-ice the roads in Indianapolis could be making the water coming into your home more corrosive to lead pipes. Well, road salt washes off into our waterways and can wind up in our, in our drinking water. Um, it can make the water more corrosive so that as it's passing through a lead pipe, it'll pick up more of that lead and we wind up with lead in drinking water. It's in part the reason residents in Flint, Michigan have lead contamination in their water. While the U.S. Geological Survey says there's high levels of road salt in the same rivers and streams used for our drinking water, Citizens Energy tells us by the time it comes through the tap, it's been treated and test results show it's safe. To put it plainly, they say the road salt has not had an impact on our drinking water or caused corrosion in service pipes. But the Hoosier Environmental Council and the USGS say, if nothing else, the risk could literally be coming down the pipe. If you're concerned about the water coming through your tap, you can have it tested. The best way to do that is to reach out to a state certified water testing lab. We've got a link to all the ones across Indiana on our website. Also, be careful of those do-it-yourself tests. Many of them require you to collect the water, then have it sent off to a lab and tested for a fee. Jade Hindman, RTV6.